What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Come On Big Fish. I'm the Buff and this weekend we are at Chandelier Island. We're on board uh, the fishing vessel Southern Bell. This is a charter service out of Gulfport, Mississippi that takes clients out on a big mothership, I guess for lack of a better term. And we have six small 14 foot crafts with 20 horsepower, four strap motors that we offload from the roof and let everybody go out in to fish around a chandelier and catch speckled trout, redfish, flounder, all the good stuff. Now I'm going to give you a quick little view of the boats and how we got everything kind of lined up here. That is one of them. And see we've got a string that runs all the way back. There's six of them back there. I don't know if you can see them all or not. But six boats. Two seaters, gas tanks. Uh, we've got little coolers. It's got a live well in the boat. So you can catch all that you want. Within the limits, of course. And uh, bring it back. The vessel itself. Great little setup. It does have air conditioner inside. So you don't have to worry about getting too hot. I'll give you a sneak little quick, excuse me, give you a quick little sneak peek of the uh, first day of us fishing out here. Uh, you can't see them because they're covered under ice. But you can see some of the trout. There's a redfish there. There's a really big trout buried underneath there. Um, I'll take some more pictures and get some more video once I start cleaning the fish. And I'll give you a little rundown on a quick way to clean the speckled trout and redfish and all that good stuff too. Um, got some rod holders back here. That way everything's right there at our fingertips when we get to load everybody up. Alright, so here's an up close look at this lure. I'm not sure what it's called, who makes it. Looks like a sperm cell with a treble hook on it. Yeah. Um, big ass sperm cell with a triple hook. I, I don't know what else to call it. Let's try it again. Like I said, we're going to pull out some lines. Lock it in. Grab the top. So we can kind of swing it a little bit. Pitch it out there. Might work it a little bit. Keep it off the bottom, hopefully, and keep it away from the hard head. I made it. Oh, there we go. What have I got? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at there. Oh my oh no. Wipe the lens off. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, there was a little speckle trap, but he got off. Too small to keep anyway. But, yeah, a little lure works. Let's see if we can get that big one I keep seeing roll up there. Right. Yeah, we're going to take it, pitch it out there. Let it sink slowly. bumped it. It's not ready to take it. I'm going to let some line out. Trying to get this thing to line up where we're seeing that big speckle trout roll. Let's try it again. We can catch a little bit more off to the right. Now, let that thing 
sink down right there on the edge of the lake. Switch it once or twice. something a little bit different and I've got a nice little speck here I think it's gonna be too small to keep we're gonna let him go anyway but at least we know kind of what they're looking for I like that bone color right now behind the lights that's a white trout that one's going in the box well, hell I'll eat that one myself yummy Hey boys and girls, so today we're cleaning trout. Got my nine inch Dexter, or excuse me, eight inch Dexter uh, bony knife. I'm gonna whittle through a couple right quick. Make a diagonal cut behind the head on both sides. Join that cut, slide your knife in the belly, open it all the way down to the anus, pull this out, cut it, break it out of the way. Put your knife in to the bones, angle down, all the bones cut through the ribs all the way down to the tail but don't cut through it flip it over grab your skin pull the skin move your knife back and forth boom cut the ribs out Put that away Put that down in the bucket flip your trout over the knife to the bone Angle your knife, make it all the way down to the tail, but don't cut through. Then down to the skin, cut a little bit, grab the skin, pull the skin. Boom, just like that. Cut the ribs out. Now if you got dogs at home, or cats too, you can take these, lay this piece of meat, right off the top of the ribs and give that to them trust me they'll love you for it great for their protein great for their scope their coat their overall health one more time diagonal cut on each side cut down to the anus pull the insides out cut this is a male so it's a little different Angle your knife down, follow the bone, all the way down, over, skin, cut the ribs up. That's dinner, boys and girls. If you haven't already, like and subscribe, share. Tell all your friends. I'll be back with more content real soon.